Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all. Brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them, and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good, we are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. An Imperial airship. It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. <laughs> 